Do you think God stays in heaven because he's afraid of what he made? Is that a quote from something? Steve Buscemi, actually, in the Spy Kids, too. No. I'm not making that up. It's an actual Steve Buscemi quote from Spy Kids 2. Why? I don't know, but it kind of felt applicable to uh, the game we're about to play. Hi, folks. Welcome to the Vine Team Voyage, where we start with the tough questions and then move on to Fallout 1. Well, technically, it's Fallout 1.2, as you can see down here. Right. Well, uh, you know, we our first voyage uh, for you YouTubers was Fallout New Vegas. Um, Y'all remember how that went. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure you all remember how the crash crashes were fantastic. But uh, Garrett loves Fallout, so he convinced me to give this series a second try because all I know is the Bethesda nonsense. Yeah, and, and the and Bethesda games. Uh, I mean, I like them, but this stuff is it's whoa, what? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Brian Fargo just wanted to remind you that he made this game. Do we? Do, do, well, I'll know whether or not to thank him after we play this, because uh, I am going in completely virginal. I The only thing I know is you love this game. That is my base experience with it. And I'm sure like the other Fallout games, you get a dog. Are you playing with that guy's head? No, I'm like r running my finger around the rim of his light. All right, well, well... Do you want to watch the intro? Can um, we? I don't is know it, if we is can. it voiced by, um, what's his face? Ron, Ron Perlman, Perlman, like everything else? Yes. Awesome. Sure. Let's watch Ron Perlman. All right, all right. Uh, Ryan Fargo presents The Hideo Kojima Game. <laughs> Fallout. Fallout Boy? No, that's this character. This is the Fallout Boy. Oh. <laughs> I think he's technically called Vault Boy, but no, he's Fallout Boy. <laughs> That's not a phone number. Yeah. We know. Oh, I you're oh. you're going to appreciate Music's this. Music from my favorite era. Era dedicated boys keep peace in annexed Canada. A annexed Canada. Annexed Canada. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, it's Hello. about it's about time Canada learned to just let the real Americans do their job for them. <laughs> Buy war bonds! Do it. Do it now. Oh, the Corvega. Uh, the music in this game. I just love the cinematography of this scene. Yeah, no, this is really cool. I mean, I, I, as soon as I noticed that they were shut on the walls, I knew it was going to zoom out to just the destroyed world, but... I mean, yeah. this is how Fallout 3 started Wait, also. How is commercials being broadcasted still? Um, this is like right after the bombs went off. Okay. Also, it could be a, uh, whatchamacallit, a, like, for sale, you know what I mean? Oh, well, there goes my question. Oh, I love how it echoes into the distance. Seriously, this era of Earth had some of the best music ever. I'm not referring to the era this was made, I'm referring to, like, the 50s yeah, and that yeah. whole era. War. War never changes. Really, tell me more, Hellboy. But what have the Romans ever done for us? <laughs> what a great guy that Hitler was. I'm not even going to touch that with a 10 foot pole. That's how I feel about Spy Kids, too. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to say, I'm getting conflicting messages. Does war never change, or has war changed, like Solid Snake tells me? I know, right? Would dissolve into quarreling, bickering nation states, bent on controlling the last remaining resources on Earth. Yeah. In 2077, the storm of world war had come again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, everyone knows this. We learned this in history class. The planet was reduced to cinders. Mm -hmm. And from the ashes of nuclear devastation, a new civilization would struggle to arise. Yeah, things get better. Thanks, Mark Morgan. Your music is wonderful. Are we talking in the second person now? <laughs> Wait a minute. In prison safety, Are we wrong? A large vault door under a mountain of stone. A generation has lived. Mountains are usually made out of stone, Ron Perlman. <laughs> Just mountains of stone, bro. Is about to change. I wonder, is it going to go to the conversation with the overseer? I don't think so. Yeah, I think that's it. All right. 
I like that. Alrighty. Let's start a game. It's okay, why not? Oh, look at... Yeah, so here you can pick a character if you're an idiot. Click on character create. Yeah, pick a character. That's why we play RPGs, to play pre-made characters. Uh, just so you guys know, uh, age doesn't affect anything. Uh, there are a couple instances where being a female would, like, allow you to, like, sleep your way through a situation. Check your female privilege! Yeah. So, I'm not gonna... I'm gonna keep that the way it is. Take that, Anita Snarkeesian! <laughs> no. So, <laughs> uh, so, you'll notice that this is special... And I'm not, special. Yeah, and so is everybody in the Fallout universe. We're all but if, special because if strength, everyone's special, nobody's special. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intellect, agility, and luck. Everybody is special. I, I, I always hated how luck was a stat in this game. Well, a, like, it's like, wh how do you grind fucking luck? A lot of the Fallout <laughs> community is of the opinion that you crank down luck to make the game more fun. Oh, okay, I get that. Well, yeah. you're the one behind, uh, you know, you're, you're the one playing, so how, how is Garrett going to play this game? Oh, well, what I was getting at was the special, um, the numbers here will control your starting numbers and your skills. Mm -hmm. But I like to take the gifted perk, which gives me more of these points, but less of these points, which means that anything that I tag, like small guns, for instance... I have less than I would have, but in the long run, this will help me out more, because I have more points to distribute. So you're making the beginning harder, but it'll even out by the end, is what you're saying? Yes. Alright. Because, like, if you look at guns, guns is based on agility. Mm -hmm. Well, now because I took the gifted perk, I can just crank up my agility. Alrighty. Stuff like that. But, uh... I don't know, there are some, like, recently I found out that there are some stats that you don't want to raise above a certain point. Like, your strength is good at 6, uh, your charisma is good at 6, intellect you want to get up to 8, and... That's why you can become a wizard and cast spells! Yes. My only reference for this RPG type of shenanigans is Dungeons and Dragons. And I'm gonna crank my intellect. Actually, that's not true, I play a lot of RPGs, but... When I hear intellect, I think, well, you need to get it to a certain point to cast To cast spells. your spells, yeah, yeah. No, intellect in this game is more about, like, knowing things that you, the player, don't already know. Uh, you'll see a good example of that really early that on in the game. That's cheap. Um, it's, it's an old game. <laughs> uh, I also like to take the fast shot perk. Now, if you guys know anything about the later Fallout games, you know about Vats. Vats is in the first two Fallout games. But if you take the fast shot perk, you remove Vats from the equation, but you also get to fire your guns with one less action point for the cost. So you get to fire more bullets, but you can't target anything. Holy shit. Was this made using, um, GURPS? Uh, well, it was supposed to be GURPS, but then they couldn't secure the rights to GURPS. I was about to say, action points, all this stuff, this is reminding me a lot of D&D &D and other D20-based RPGs, pen and paper shenanigans. As it should. Uh, so I'm going to put my other tag on speech, because I like to talk to people in these games, and uh, I think lockpicking is pretty important. You're the master of unlocking. I am. I am. So here we go. Got our character going, and... Yeah! Oh! 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 oh. <laughs> so people are still lovely back in, in not Bethesda Fallout games. Yeah, that's a real thing that does something. Can't make another one. Well, I mean... The process is too complicated for a workaround system. What? Then why did you make it oh, like that? Alex! It's your guy! He's gonna hit the table! Oh! No hit the table, do it, do it. No, he does it later. He does it that's later. That's all I know about this game. And frankly, that, there, that guy likes to hit his hand on the desk, and it's hilarious. Yeah. Why don't you go? Because he's the overseer. He can't leave. Sweet picture of the UI. Yeah. Yeah, it is, but you'll see why. Look, just be safe. Okay. Oh, look at you. You're a guy who cares. You know what? It's, uh, we're sending you to your death, but try, try to be safe. Well, they don't even know. They don't know what's Ooh, out there. Ooh, I like this. Yep. Okay, now I see how Fallout 3's opening got inspired. Oh yeah, no, like, 
it's really cool to see pictures of the vaults from the early Fallout games and how they look exactly like the vaults in the later Fallout games. Yeah, but did, did this one have Liam Neeson as your pop pop? No, unfortunately not. Ugh, zero, zero out of ten. Fallout 2 has some pretty big voice actors, though. Mm. So does New Vegas. Yeah, well, I mean, New Vegas has Mr. New Vegas, the greatest... The, <laughs> I, voiced by Mr. Las Vegas. I just listen to him on YouTube sometimes. Not, no, I, th my favorite thing is, like, the radio station of all of his songs and sayings. Did he just drop us in? Yeah, okay, here we go. Ah, oh, thank God. I was worried it was going to be, like, 4 by 3 the entire time. Thank God we set it to widescreen. Okay, so, uh, this is Fallout. You can see that it has, is that a hexagon? Is that a dead body a... next to you? Oh, yeah, no, I'm going to take his stuff. He doesn't need it. Oh, that's, that's, uh, you know. Now, you'll notice how absolutely terrible this UI is. This, uh, interface, this, that inventory system. It's terrible. Why is your guy spinning around in circles? He's going to get sick. I've never noticed. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just like Metal Gear Solid 3 where if you spin Snake around too much in the inventory he pukes. Which is a legitimate strategy of escaping at one point in the game. So now for everybody who plays this game for the first time, I recommend hitting F1, which brings up this screen that just tells you about stuff. Because I'm not going to... I get the to... feeling if you bought a physical copy back in the day that would have came Oh, there's a it. very nice manual. Yeah? Yeah, it comes with the GOG version. What, like they scanned it? Yeah. That's why I love GOG. So what we're going to be doing here in this first area is just shooting mice for experience. It's a very basic story to be told in a, uh, whatchamacallit, in an RPG. I was like, I was like I've, I've, I've done this before in yeah. so many RPGs. And then the hero of the wastes ran around shooting small creatures for experience to learn how to better lockpick. <laughs> Oh, RPGs, you're so weird. Oh, I didn't even notice I did this. See, this is something I love about Fallout, is you have a chance to miss and hit other people. So you see how I've been trying to shoot this mouse this whole did time? Did you hit the other mouse? I hit this mouse. I didn't even notice. It probably said it down here, though. Yeah. yeah, 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 Cave Rat. Oops, Cave Rat was hit instead of Cave Rat. Cave Rat was hit for ten points and was killed. That's pretty funny. All right. Well, I mean, Ricochet's a real thing. Can it ricochet and hit you? Ah, uh, yeah, you can... That's hilarious. You, you can also critically misfire and lose all of your ammo, which I love. How do you even do that? I know, right? Like, I like to imagine... It's like, I understand like, if it's an automatic or a semi-automatic, but what? Your finger just slips and you hit the fucking... You, you got a revolver and you shoot it six times by accident. Oops. Yeah. Fuck oh you, rats. God. Yeah, this is gonna be going on for... Oh, well, that was, like, the first third of the area, and now we're almost... <laughs> I thought you were about to say first third of the game is just you killing rats. Nope. That's fine. Now that we know we can record up to, uh, 15 minutes, we... We, we got all the time in the world. Yeah. Shit. I'm also just, like, pretty efficient at playing this game. <laughs> Rule story, Co. We're not on Co, bro. No, it's Cool Story Bro becomes Brule Story Co. Steve Brule. This is a conversation. <laughs> uh, some, you know, we were, I was having problems with the computer before we started recording. It was being, uh, you know, I'm sorry, not the computer, the time drive toaster. It, it was being, um, well, I'm just going to say finally, an uppity little bitch. So I had to smack the shit out of it till it worked with a, a crowbar. Uh, and now it works. Yeah, but now so, our crowbar is broken. Now the crowbar is broken, and I'm in a salty mood about that because I liked that crowbar. It reminded you of Gordon Freeman. No, Gordon Freeman. We have to use. Who's Gordon the... Freemason? Ah, Illuminati confirmed! Burr, 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 burr. I shot you, Mouse. How are you still alive? <laughs> Alright, well. Uh, apparently we're running up on time here, but... Haven't are... you enjoyed watching us kill rats? This episode guest starred Ron Perlman. What more do you people want from us? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you're right. I am not hitting anything right now. <laughs> Alright, hopefully you'll kill this rat. Yeah, I got him. Alright. You have 20 seconds to kill the other rat before I have to cut the episode. Yes, that's it. All right. All righty. Uh, see you folks next time. Bye. Hopefully uh, we don't abuse any more small mammals. I'm going to rest until I heal.